Well, good Wednesday evening. Finally starting to see some of those winds calm down. So if you are taking a stroll, right now is probably your best time to do it. Although ladies probably put the hair up and if you're wearing that coat, maybe zip it up because it probably will still have enough to umph in the wind to uh, go flying behind you. So if that's not a problem for you, beautiful evening right now for Carbondale, noticing some cloud cover coming overhead. So that cloud cover kind of acting like a blanket right now on top of those winds still coming from the southwest. We think of winds that come from the southwest to be more warm and on the warmer side. So we are still holding on nicely to those lower 70s and those dew points starting to slowly drop. Now that just gives us a little bit more humidity in the air. So it does feel a little bit on the warmer side on top of that. So looking at our wind speed map across the region, some of these areas in blues starting to see some of those higher wind amounts, but we're also starting to lose it at the same time. Cape Dorado not doing too bad, six miles per hour. We've seen some over that, and I'm sure we're going to see some more as we go through the rest of our evening into our early morning hours because we're not quite done. But speaking of not quite done, those lower 70s still hanging on pretty nicely across the region. Again, I mentioned that blanket cloud effect. It kind of just traps that warm air in and right behind it, we are going to be tracking a cold front. So we will be noticing a few areas of drizzle that could work their way in very early into your Thursday. But look at those Thursday morning temperatures going on the school bus might want that light jacket out because we're going to be tracking temperatures back into those lower and mid 50s. Some of us might actually stay a little bit warmer. So nonetheless, we are looking at our threat tracker. We have reintroduced some rain chances isolated to scattered, not a complete washout but those winds will be coming back. But this time it's from the north and west. That means it's going to feel a little bit cooler and more dry as we look at winds gusting upwards of 20 miles per hour at times. And then Veterans Day right around the corner. And I'll wrap all of that up for you. But there's that cold front starting to work its way through the region. There's those south or uh, those southwest winds still coming from the south, staying warm. But that's most of us right now. We haven't even seen the impacts of this cold front, not seeing any uh, precipitation either. So going through the rest of the evening, see these blues winds coming down. Eventually, we'll really start to feel that by the early morning hours. If we can get that cloud cover to clear out, that's where we'll dip our temperatures the most into the morning hours. But you'll also feel those winds gusting upwards of 20 miles per hour. We stay dry for the most part, maybe a few areas of drizzle here by the afternoon. But again, as we go towards the late evening hours. Here we are four o'clock. We're looking at southeast Missouri and into western Kentucky for some of those heavier shower amounts. See those areas there, those pockets of yellows. That could be where you might want your umbrella. This is around 11 o'clock at night, so that does give us some nice rainfall there. Not really tracking over an inch possible, but even into Friday morning, we're still tracking that round of rain. Nonetheless, it's needed. We're still very dry. That drought monitor comes out tomorrow. But then as we look away from our Thursday, we go into our Friday, we stay pretty much a at average temperatures with temperatures into those upper 50s, lower 60s, but more sunshine on the way. So despite a few early morning showers there for Friday, we do look to stay primarily dry. So download that Storm Track 3 app because it'll tell you not just those chances of rain there that you see on the board, which again diminishes into your Friday, but also those cool temperatures that come in as we go from Friday evening into Saturday morning. But those 30s won't stay around for terribly long as we warm up into those low 60s. All right. We'll take that.